Curious what dates do to a diabetic's blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Sampoorn and I have been living with type 2 diabetes for the past 9 years. With strict diet control and regular exercise, I'm working my way towards remission. And yes, it is possible if we understand how different foods really affect our blood sugar. After countless experiments, I have learned the rhythm of my own body. And that's what keeps me in control. On this channel, I share my real-life food tests so you can also become sugar aware. My goal is simple, to help you make smarter, healthier and more informed food choices. Please feel free to steal my homework if it helps you too. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss my weekly diabetic food experiments. So let's dive in. Today I am testing two medjool dates about 30 grams total. Here is what these two dates pack in. About 133 calories. And a whopping 97% of that comes from carbs. Bringing it down, this much dates contain about 36 grams of carbohydrates, 32 grams of sugar, 3 grams of fiber, just 1 gram of protein, and a mere 0.3 gram of fat. On top of that, they contain small amounts of calcium, iron, and potassium. And here's the kicker. Dates have a glycemic index of around 70, which means they should hit the bloodstream fast and hard. Fingers crossed. I'll be tracking my blood glucose levels using my continuous glucose monitor or CGM, which gives me minute by minute readings. Right before eating, my blood sugar level is at 98 milligrams per deciliter. A pretty decent start. Dates are often called nature's candy. Dense, sweet and packed with quick energy. But here's the debate. Some studies argue that thanks to their fiber, dates in moderation are safe for diabetics. Others say the sugar concentration is so high they are an absolute no for people with diabetes. Which is it? Well, that's exactly what we are about to find out. At least for me. Alright, it's been a few hours since I ate the dates. And now, it's showtime. But before I reveal the numbers, stick with me till the end. Because after I show you the results, I'll also break down the science behind them. That way, the next time you go for dates, you'd know exactly what to expect and how to manage the outcome. Quick note. The reasons I share for any spike are not just my personal opinion. Everything is backed by trusted scientific research. And you'll find all the sources linked in the description below. So here comes the million dollar question. Are dates a go or a no go? But first, let me show you the framework I use to judge spikes. According to this chart, I treat spikes of under 40 points as safe, 40 to 60 points as concerning, and anything above 60 as dangerous. And here are the numbers. My blood sugar went from 98 mg to 116 mg per deciliter within 2 hours. That's a jump of just 18 points, which is an unexpected surprise. Honestly, I was expecting much worse. If we look at the curve, there was even a slight dip right after eating, which means the carbs and sugar didn't hit my bloodstream straight away. After that, it rose gradually and then leveled off at 116 mg in 2 hours. So for me, Dates are officially a go. But a word of caution, food responses are personal. Start with just one date, check your sugar and only add more if your body handles it well. Remember, portion size matters. Now, let's look at few possible reasons behind this unexpected slow spike. According to my research, the main contributing reasons are as follows. First, lower glycemic load. Even though dates have high GI, total quantity of carb and sugar was not alarmingly high, given that I had just two dates. Number two, fructose factor. In comparison with glucose, dates contain higher percentage of fructose, a type of sugar that raises blood sugar more slowly than the plain glucose. And number three, built-in breaks. Yes, dates also have fiber and natural plant compounds that slow down how fast sugar is absorbed by the body and hits the bloodstream. The key takeaway today, portion size is everything. Even a food with high glycemic index can be managed if you keep your portions small. That's what makes the difference between a safe rise and a dangerous spike. That was my test. Now I would love to hear from you. How do dates impact your blood sugar? Share in the comments so we can learn from each other's experience. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with someone who could benefit and subscribe for more real-life diabetic food tests every week. Until next time. Stay curious, stay mindful and take care of your sugar levels.